Hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a real life case of prostate cancer, what it means, how it's treated, and what the statistics say. Now, don't worry, I'll break this all down in a way that's easy to understand. Let's get into it. Meet Jeff. He's a 74 year old engineer who enjoys DIY, gardening, and walking. But recently, he noticed he was urinating more frequently. That led to a visit to his doctor which set off a chain of tests that ended with a serious diagnosis, locally advanced prostate cancer. Now let's break this down. Jeff has prostate adenocarcinoma, meaning cancer started in his prostate gland. His Gleason score is 4 plus 5, which tells us that his cancer cells are aggressive. Doctors use this score on a scale from 6 to 10, where 10 means the most aggressive cancer growth. Unfortunately, Jeff's score of 9 means his cancer is growing quickly. Another key marker is PSA or prostate-specific antigen. Jeff's level is 17.7 nanogram per milliliter, significantly higher than normal. This suggests a high level of cancer activity. But here's the good news. His scans show no evidence of cancer spreading to his bones or lymph nodes. That's crucial because cancer that spreads becomes much harder to control. So, what's the plan? Jeff's doctors are taking an aggressive but proven approach. Two years of hormone therapy combined with radiotherapy to the prostate. Let's explore why. First, androgen deprivation therapy, IDT, also known as hormone therapy, blocks testosterone. Why? Because prostate cancer feeds on testosterone. Cutting off its fuel source slows the cancer's growth dramatically. Studies show that combining ADT with radiotherapy significantly improves survival rates. Next up is radiotherapy. Jeff will receive 60 gray over four weeks. This high-dose radiation is designed to destroy cancer cells while minimizing damage to healthy tissue. But even with this treatment, there's still a risk of recurrence. Now, let's talk statistics. According to the POP-RT Phase 3 clinical trial, about 75% of patients with locally advanced prostate cancer had their cancer under control five years after treatment. That's a promising number. What about chemotherapy? Jeff's doctors considered docetaxel, a type of chemotherapy, but research from the Stampede trial found that for cases like his, where the cancer hasn't spread, chemotherapy didn't significantly improve survival rates. So, they decided against it. Every treatment has side effects. Since starting hormone therapy, Jeff has experienced mild fatigue, soreness in his left nipple, and occasional aches. He might also face hot flashes, muscle loss, and changes in sexual function. These can be managed with the right lifestyle adjustments and medications. Radiotherapy also has side effects, including fatigue, bowel changes, and urinary symptoms. His doctors have recommended staying hydrated and maintaining a high-fiber diet to help reduce discomfort. Here's the key takeaway. Early detection and a structured treatment plan can make a huge difference. While Jeff's cancer is aggressive, modern treatments give him a strong chance at long-term control. If you or someone you know is dealing with prostate cancer, remember, you're not alone. Regular checkups, PSA testing, and early intervention can save lives. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with someone who might need it. Stay informed and take care.